What's Gucci everybody, it's AJ here again, and today I want to make a video about structs. This will probably be a two-part series because it does take a long time to describe all the things happening in a structure, which is a data type in C, and well, there's a lot of good things to know about it. So, as you know, so far we've learned that you can contain anything, multiple things of one type in a array, like an integer array, and you can contain multiple integers in it. But what if you wanted to contain multiple types, different types, in a data structure, and you didn't know how to do that? Well, C implements a way of being able to do that. It's called a structure, and the short keyword in C is struct, like that, S-T-R-U-C-T. And the way you declare a structure is you start with the struct keyword, and then you declare a type. I'm going to say, call the type player, and then I put bracket and a bracket, and then notice I have a semicolon after the second bracket, which you need. If you don't have that, that's an error, obviously. Well, maybe that wasn't obvious, but now you know. So what I can do within the brackets of, these, of this struct is I can initialize variables. I could make the structure contain an, an array, or I can make the structure contain a pointer, or I can make the structure contain a variable. Let's make it contain a variable. So int i, not going to do anything, just declare it. Um, and then let's make an integer, let's make a char. Um, let's make a char position. And We'll make this the number of the player, and let's see, let's also make a struct, uh, a structure within this structure that points, that can point to other player structures. So as you can see, in here I have another, I, I can contain a struct variable within the structure that will allow me to point to other players so I could somehow connect them all on a team. So in, in our main method, we're going to declare a structure, this structure type. So it's simple. I simply start out with these two, with this type. This is the type definition I've declared of the structure, struct player. So that's what I'm going to do before I initialize the variable name. So struct player, and let's name him AJ. Actually, let's name him Alfred. And right here, I'm going to do something similar to array initializing rotate notation. And then I'm going to put a bracket, and then I'm going to put a second bracket, and then I'm going to put a closing bracket. Now, in between these, I can initialize these variables in the order they I declared them. So if I put a 12 here, and then a C here, and then a, well, I guess I'll just put null for the pointer. The 12 automatically links up with the int number. The C automatically links up with the char. And the null automatically links up with the pointer. If you don't know what null means, null simply means nothing. It means it doesn't point to anything. It's best to declare pointers if you don't know what they're pointing to, to zero or null. I prefer null because it make, it's a little more clear. But so, just like as I said again, sorry for me confusing confusing you guys a little bit. These the structure initializer is corresponding to the order that I declared the variables. So int number will correspond to the first position since it's the first variable declared at the top, and char will correspond to the second position, and yada yada yada. And so. Let's say I wanted to print out the number of the player, or I wanted to know the number of the player. Then I would simply... <sighs> Clips is causing me problems. But now it's not. So um, I want to print that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to print it out with every number, like a regular number. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in the type of the structure or the name of the structure. And I'm going to use something called the dot operator. The dot operator will allow me to access inner, inner variables within the structure. So dot, and then it gives me a choice of number, int, 
I mean the number, the pointer, or the position that I defined in the structure. So I'll define the number, I'll print that out, and when I run this, boom, it prints out 12. I could also put a percent %c here and print out a, a character by, present, by printing Alfred position. And boom. Uh, also, if I want, also I could use the dot operator to change what I to change the variable within the structure. So if I wanted to increment increment the number and then print that out, <laughs> that would change it to thirteen and print out thirteen. And that's the way I would be able to do that. Hmm, it did not print out. Why is that? Because uh, this needs to be percent D. And there you go. Thir Alfred number. And there. And so as you see, when I format that, that's simple, simple as can be, as you can see. But as I showed you, I haven't done much with this struct pointer here. And what I'm going to show you guys is that those are ways to change the structure. But what I'm going to do here is I am going to make another structure except this time it is going to be a pointer so just like you can have pointers to variables you can have pointers to structures or yeah because structures all variables as well so I'm gonna call this Batman and I'm going to give it the address of Alfred which makes sense so simply Batman is a pointer to Alfred and if I wanted to and there all there is a different way to access the variables contained within Batman or the structure contained within Batman and what you use is another kind of address or dereferencing operator use the they call it the arrow operator like that and what I do what I can do is I can simply say Batman arrow operator and then I can say number and when I get rid of this and print this out boom prints out 12 just like Alfred dot number would so that's a way to do that but you can only do that with pointers I can do this with chars as well now as you can see this allows everything to be pretty interesting and pretty cool so you can have structures to pointers and things of that nature and you can access that using the arrow operator which is a I guess greater than symbol before I mean after a little semicolon or a little hyphen so yeah I think I'll end the tutorial off here guys I'll quickly make another tutorial explaining how to more use this pointer operator I hope you guys have a great day